Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. Now after last episode, I continued building up on my workshed slash workshop factory, whatever you want to call it. I think I'm just going to call it a workshed. I also did a bit more with the rubber trees. As you can see, I trimmed the leaves down so I could get at the rubber. And I put some cooking. Only have 35 at the moment. But I think I'm going to make an extractor to make the most out of the rubber. So this episode, we're going to be making an extractor. If I can spell it right. Uh, extractor. Machine block. Electronic circuit. And some tree taps. Make a few copper wire. A few more. Make one circuit with some refined iron. Machine block is eight refined iron in a circle. And now I need four tree taps. Yeah, four tree taps. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Four tree taps. And there's our extractor. Now this will allow us to triple the amount of rubber we get out of every uh, sticky resin. So instead of getting one for cooking it, we'll get three. And we also need a generator. Let's see. For a generator, we need an iron furnace. Make a quick stone furnace. Surround it with a bit of iron. And there's our iron furnace. We're also going to need an RE battery, which is one of these. Two redstone. And four tin. Now I put that there. Iron furnace here. And three refined iron. And there's our generator. <coughs> Now this will power the extractor, just like the engine powered the pulverizer. Now what else do we need? Hmm. Oh yeah, we're going to need a wrench. Okay, the problem is, I don't remember which wrench it is I need. And the fact that there are so many different ones. Um, there's the electric wrench I could make. If I had a plate bending machine. But I don't remember which one it is. I think it's this one. Bronze needs... Yeesh.
let's see. Um, I think I may have actually smelted all my dust. Yeah. Ah, oh, well. And I had just done that too. Crap. Um. Let me grab some coal. <coughs> Let's head over to the workshop. And I'll put this down where I want it to be. And I'll make a wrench later in case I need one. Okay. <laughs> thought there was a spider behind me for a second. As you can see, I've finished most of it. Most of the basic walls, aside from the roof. Still trying to figure out if I want to put a second floor on up there, or just flatten it out with like half slabs, like I did here. I also replaced the um, redwood with uh, rubber wood because I was cutting down rubber wood trees for more saplings or before, so I figured what the hell, why not, may as well use it. I got most of the roofing done, except for this square area here. Went with a glass ceiling for these outcropping areas right here. With more of the smooth sandstone walls. One right there. I originally had one right here, just like that one. But uh, skeletons kept shooting me through them, so had to replace it. Nearly ran out of glass. It's down to like a few panes left. 20 panes and 6 glass, and I'm completely out of sand again. But yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see, where do we want to put this? The extractor, I think, uh, extractor and EU using machines I'll have back this way. So, right there. For now, I'll just stick this generator right next to it. Stick some coal in there. And stick this sticky resin in. And we should be getting rubber. And there you go. Three rubber for one sticky resin. Now, I'm thinking about going ahead and moving all my machinery and stuff in here, even though the roof's not finished. Because I don't think mobs can actually spawn on stairway stairs and glass and stuff, so it should be safe. I might go up there and stick some torches. In fact, I might do that right now. Come up here and stick some torches where or there's any flat areas like right here. <coughs> and all the rest of this is either glass or steps. And as I said, I don't believe mobs can actually spawn on steps or half slabs and glass like that. So it should be pretty safe. I don't think anything should fall down on top of me. So, yeah. Also going to need to make a plate bending machine. Let's see if I have materials for that. Hmm. 
roof pig is still up there. Okay. Definitely gonna need a plate bending machine at some point. Conveyor belt module. Compressor. Machine blocks. Wait, you need plates to make it? Oh, wait. <laughs> I was about to say, what the hell? You need plates to make a plate bending machine to make plates. That would have been fairly pointless. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I need six electronic circuits. And I should have everything else. Circuits are going to be the main problem. Uh, 17, that's 6, mm. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to have enough rubber right now. Probably going to have to get a tree tap, make another tree tap, and get some more rubber and go extract some. Okay. I'm gonna go get some more rubber, put it extracting, and then probably next time I'll make that plate bending machine. Maybe an electronic... Um, an electri electronic... Well, an electric furnace. Or maybe a powered furnace. I don't know. I haven't decided which way I want to go. But, yeah. For now, I think I'm done. With this episode, at least. Ah! <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, my poor tree. Oh well. Uh, okay. Like I said, I think I'm done for this episode. Before I was rudely interrupted. I'm gonna fill in this hole. Get some more rubber, put it extracting, and I guess I'll see you next time. But for now, bye. Bye.